Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and this is Fabio's Kitchen, where every week I'm bringing you a simple dish made by me. I understand that curry, curry, not curry, well you care, you're carrying something, but today we're talking about curry. I understand that curry, it's not an Italian spice, but I love a good creamy curry chicken. Now, the recipe today is going to be bonkers because we're going to incorporate some Italian pastina. Pastina is like couscous, but it's like very small, tiny pasta that we pre-cook and let it sit cold. This will act like the bed for our chicken recipe. Then, I'm going to have a very hot skillet here. I'm going to get a good amount of butter. We're going to get some broccoli inside. Buttery broccoli, all right? Buttery broccoli is gonna be there. And we're gonna cook the broccoli in butter for a few minutes. In the meantime, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, dark meat chicken. Do you know why dark meat and not breast? Because dark, oh, oh, good save, Fabio. Because dark meat it's almost impossible to overcook. Almost impossible because it takes a while for it to overcook. And you can do it even if you're an amateur kind of home cook or a chef. All right, so here's what I got for you now. Look, the broccoli is cooking and it's caramelizing in a good amount of butter. I got salt and pepper. I'm gonna put some yellow curry on it. How little or how much curry it's up your likeness, I don't care. Garlic powder. Get it there. Now we're gonna mix this. Curry is a very, very aromatic spice. Very aromatic. I absolutely love a good curry, but if it's too much, then it tastes like medicine, and I don't like that. So we'll leave it there for a second. I'm getting my broccoli. I got a big piece of broccoli here, which I'm gonna break. It's never good trying to cut things in a pan when you have hot sizzling butters just jumping over you. So now we got the broccoli there. What is getting nice. You see, they start to be, can you get these with the camera? The broccoli, they start to have a little good caramelization on them. See that? Now it's time to add the chicken. There. Now, by doing so, I'm also stopping the cooking of the broccoli. Here's what we gotta do now. I'm gonna let the chicken, now you might thought originally that the amount of butter that I put in the broccoli was too much. Yeah, it's a lot of butter, but it's not a lot of butter when you have a pound and a half of chicken to cook in it, it will barely be sufficient. Sufficient, 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 sufficient. Nick, yes, correct. Will, ever, will, will barely be sufficient? Sufficient, sufficient. Yeah. wow. So I'm getting good with English. Like a lot better than season one of Fabio's Kitchen, right? I'm gonna let this cook for a couple of minutes. Chicken and broccoli. You're gonna let this cook for two minutes. We'll be right back. All right, guys, after two minutes, the chicken is gonna start to get color. See that? And it's gonna get start to get a little caramelized. So here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get a little bit of broth, beef broth. I love beef broth. And I'm gonna just wet this, just wet. Like that. Then I'm gonna add cream to it. Now the, the curry will release a nice yellow color. And 
And once this cream is reduced in three minutes, four maybe, we will plate and you're done. Be right back. Let's do this. We're back from outer space. Da -da 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 -da. Look at this, guys. Listen, when you have curry, cream, and beef stock, you get a darker shade, darker shade of sauce. But the caramelization, it's absolutely outstanding. The broccoli is still nice and green. The chicken is so damn tender that you're gonna wonder, is this chicken? Now. Here's what we got. I'm gonna put the couscous, Italian couscous, in a plate like this. Right there in the middle. See that? Like that. Booyah, right? Middle. Then, I'm gonna turn this off. I will literally kick in the Indian's kitchen game's ass. Like, Indian spices like couscous makes me excited. And while I might not be able to cook traditional Indian food, I, I absolutely murder these couscous. Nick, do you like couscous? Sure. Can you try these? I know you're on a diet, but I don't care. I need you to try it. Now, this is gonna... Yeah, no, would you, no, I'm not couscous, it's just pasta. Yeah. Meaning this couscous dish, the curry, but I would like you to try this in front of everybody. Can you zoom on Nick's face? He never lies. If it tastes like shit, he'll tell you. Oh, wow. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Right? All right. So that's what we got here, guys. We have a TV producer that is telling you that the couscous is legit. Could be totally lying because I pay the guy. We work together. He's very talented and he's not cheap, so he makes a lot of money. He's not gonna say that this tastes like crap, even if he means it. This is actually delicious, all right? So here's what I got for you. Look, I got this, and we go right there. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh! Oh, parsley. Chicken, curry with broccoli and couscous. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen. Hey guys, now that you've watched, you know this is a good recipe. How about you go share it for once?